What's going on, my pre-healthcare professionals? I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day. Today, we are continuing on in our ATIT series, Like a Boss, and we're gonna be discussing the cardiovascular system. Let's get started. Questions related to the bodily organ and systems will test your knowledge of structures and functions within the 10 human organ systems that are essential to life. You may also be testing on vocabulary terms related to your understanding of anatomy. You must understand these vital body systems when caring for your patient's comorbidities. Please note that the ATITs will only cover basic knowledge of bodily organs and systems. More in-depth knowledge will be covered in our anatomy and physiology series. Let's get started in understanding how the bodily organs and systems are important on the ATITs. The cardiovascular or circulatory system transports blood pumped from the heart throughout the body. The blood is carried through various blood vessels and contains vital nutrients, oxygen, and hormones that help maintain the body's homeostasis. There are three types of blood vessels that work in conjunction with the heart to provide blood to the body. These vessels form a network that carries the blood pumped from the heart to the body's tissues and back to the heart again. Arteries carry blood away from the heart. Capillaries transmit nutrients and waste products between arteries and veins and the veins bring the blood back to the heart. The heart is a major organ relevant in the circulatory system. It consists of four chambers and two circulatory systems. In pulmonary circulation, oxygen-poor blood coming from the body enters the heart through the right atrium and is pumped by the right ventricle to the lungs to receive oxygen through the pulmonary artery. Blood is then pumped through the pulmonary vein to the left atrium, then to the left ventricle, and is pushed out to the body. The process of delivering oxygen-rich blood to the rest of the body is called systemic circulation. The heart has its own system of blood vessels that circulate blood for its own function. This system is called the coronary system. This is something huge that you'll learn in nursing school. You have your left coronary artery, your circumflex artery, your right coronary artery, and your posterior interventricular artery. The cardiac cycle is the process of one heartbeat. The heart contracts and blood is forced out. Then it relaxes and the heart fills up with blood again. The stage of contraction is called systole and the stage of relaxation is called diastole. I hope that this video was helpful in you understanding how to pass your ATITs like a boss. I know you can do it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love answering your questions. And make sure that you follow me on my social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and of course here on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. But until next time, I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.